All right, leave a comment if you've had one of these <laughs> or something like it. Um, I think this was the biggest and most expensive one that Radio Shack ever made. This is the 201. Yes, 201. Um, I have to admit that I never owned one of these. Um, I recently received this from eBay. Uh, but uh, yeah, I never owned one of these when I was a kid. Uh, they were just way too expensive. Way, way too expensive. Um, I did have something that had a couple transistors and stuff, but it wasn't as elaborate as this, and it wasn't by Radio Shack. I forget, I forget exactly when when I had that. But um, So this is one of those little uh, kits where you have a whole bunch of components and you can wire them up. It has little spring terminals, I'll show you that. So uh, I guess this is dad, and the kids are very excited to learn electronics. And the little girl here has got the little earphone in and she's listening to, there's not a single wire. <laughs> It's not a single wire on this thing. So I don't know what she's listening to, but she's imagining something, I guess. Uh, yeah. So let's see, for ages 10 and up, um, let's see, all components built into tilted work case with cover. Yeah. Uh, so uh, this is the kind of wires you got. You had to like strip them and all these wires are now corroded. The uh, they're all black, <laughs> so I don't know what the plating was on these things, but they're all they're all black now. Probably won't make good contact. Here's the uh, here's the ear. You remember these things? Here's the earphone the little girl had in her ear. I could I could never fit these things in my ear. These things were too big. Uh, anyway, this is one of those things. Yeah, let's take a look at the unit. So here it is. It has a clear, clear cover that you can, uh, you can, you can take off. So you, I guess it protects your, uh, protects your wires. Somebody uh, can't remove them. So that was a, that was a feature. It had those little locking uh, slide things on it. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. I put that over here. So yeah, these things um, had all kinds of stuff in them. Let's zoom down here. So. They have these spring contacts. They're just, they are, you see my finger in the way? Yeah, these spring contacts. So you push them over and you put your wire in there and then it kind of grabbed it. So that's the way those worked. Uh, let's see what we got. We got a whole bunch of uh, resistors from uh, 100 ohms to 470K. A couple diodes. Transformers for doing radio work. This is a uh, 2K impedance and an 8 ohm impedance output. So here's the input output. Uh, it has batteries. It has a bunch of double A's inside. And then those batteries come up here. So you can pull off different taps. So you can pull off uh, one and a half volts or four and a half volts or wire them together to go nine volts. Um, you get a, a 7400 NAND gate. And then you get a uh, dual JK flip flop. And uh, of course, little kids are going to be very confused about the wiring of that thing. So, yeah, they probably could have laid it out better for uh, for beginners. Uh, we got some uh, PNPs and NPNs and uh, they put the device in the middle instead of the ins the uh, artwork in the middle. They should have put the artwork in the middle so that people would know this is the base and the collector. Anyway, I would have done it different. In fact, I have. Um, uh, let's see here. Uh, another diode. This is a germanium diode for like a crystal radio and uh, AM antenna here. A bunch of capacitors. And then at the bottom, uh, get the glare off of it. At the bottom, we've got a a variable capacitor, a variable resistor, a switch, a meter, eight digit LED, individual LEDs. I bet you some of those are burned out. <laughs> kids, kids would just hook them up to the battery. Uh, let's see here. This is just a on off switch key. I don't know. Is there a key here somewhere? Oh yeah. This is a key on the front uh, lamp, photoresistor, speaker and terminals. Now these terminals here, go to the front panel. Let me show you the front panel. 
So there's screw terminals here that go to those spring contacts. Uh, here's the lamp and the photo cell. Here's the key. D D D D. Look, you can learn Morse code. Eight LEDs, six LEDs, a uh, little seven segment display. Here's a resistor, a meter, and a variable capacitor. So yeah, isn't that cool? All right, let's look underneath here. All right, on the bottom side, we just have a little battery hatch here. Uh, it was just super corroded when I got it. So it had pretty recent batteries in it too. Somebody must have uh, put batteries in it to play with their kids or so, I don't know, play with, them, play with themselves or whatever, I don't know. Um, and uh, it, it probably half of it doesn't work. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll take a look at that. And then they put it up on eBay. Uh, so yeah, let's take a look inside. I've already taken some screws out here, so let me see how we can pop this thing open. All right, there you go. So the uh, front panel is just cardboard and uh, the components like the, uh, here are the uh, transistors and they're not soldered on. They just, they just go onto the spring as well. So there's everything springed from the backside and everything is springed from the front side. And uh, I don't know if you can see on camera here, there's just corrosion everywhere. There's this blue, light blue turquoise. Yeah, tur turquoise crystals. So the whole thing is full of turquoise crystals. I don't know what that chemistry is. Somebody can tell me. I guess it's copper of some kind, copper sulfate or, I don't know, copper, copper. Um, right, blue, copper is blue. Uh, let's see, so. Uh, the, the, you'll like you'll like this thing here. Yeah, these are a hoot. Yeah, that's how they hooked up the ICs. They have these boards here with wonderful soldering on. <laughs> probably, probably some of the worst soldering I've ever seen. All right. Yeah. All right. So let's uh, spin this around. Look at the front panel here. And uh, all right. So. I already see some broken wires. Here's a broken wire. And uh, here's a broken wire. And here's a broken wire. Yeah, a bunch of broken wires. Um, and then blue, blue goo everywhere. Uh, yeah. All right, here's another little... Uh, can you see that? Let me change the camera here. Oops. There we go. Another little PC board there for the seven segment display. Um, that's the seven segment. Yeah, seven segment display. Uh, yeah, here's the key. D, 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 D. Light bulb. Yeah, oh, the light, yeah, the light bulb wire is broken. I think it goes down there. Anywho, there you go. Speaker, eight ohms. Nice. So this must be the best part of the kit, the manual, the Science Fair 201 electronic project kit. And here is your tutor. Uh, he looks like a drawer. I don't know. <laughs> I guess he's supposed to be this thing, but I don't know. He's kind of weird looking. Uh, or maybe blackboards look, I don't know. I'm not sure what that's supposed to be. Uh, come with me to the world of NOR gates, flip-flops, transistors, and LEDs. LEDs must be pretty new, right? I don't know. This is catalog number 28-249. Now, uh, it has a whole bunch of circuits inside, right? It has 200. I assume it's got 200, right? It's a 201. There's 191. Diode, diode tester is 199 and yeah, 200. So it's 200 circuits now. I could do circuit of the day for 200 days. <laughs> Should I do that? <laughs> wow. I think people will start bailing from my channel. I think we'll do a bunch of them though. There's probably things to learn in here. I'll take a look. Maybe we can, we can find, the, find the good ones. But now, word of warning, if you get one of these kits, okay, you must, you must go to the back page first, okay? And uh, on the back here is the certification of compliance with 
the FCC regulations part 15 okay you got to sign your name signature of builder and the date I hereby certify that I have constructed and adjusted this device in complete accordance with the instruction manual there you go <laughs> uh, Radio Shack from Texas uh, Tandy Corporation yeah also in Australia oops Australia, Belgium, and UK. Shout out to all those people. Uh, printed in Taiwan. Okay, way over there, printed in Taiwan. Uh, so let's take a look at a couple pages here out of the man. This manual, this manual is really big. <laughs> really, really big. Yeah, it's really big. Um, all right, oh, wait a minute. We got some hieroglyphs over here. I've been known to read hieroglyphs in my old, olden days. Uh, let's see here. All right. What does it say? Uh, er, er, ipu, en, uh, I'm, I had to have, I'll have to translate that, if that means anything. Um, you never know what you find next in your Explorer kit. Uh... Yeah, there's that guy again. Oh, he is. Now he's got the little round thing on the front, like like this. So he's. This is just a really crude version of, of this. But this guy here, he he looks like the actual, uh, the actual thing itself. And there's a mummy with a funny face. All right. Um, so categories are. For two hundred, I'll take uh, surprise and game projects. Back to basics. Electronic building blocks, putting electronics to work, radio circuits, sonic zoo and sound factory, electronic decision makers, a trip to digital land, more adventures in digital land, circuits that count, some silly circuits, oh there we go, we should do the silly circuits, testing and measuring circuits, nice, uh, let's some more artwork here. This is online. I'll see if I can put a, a, a link down below. You can get a PDF of this thing. Uh, yeah, I'm a transformer. I'm a battery. I'm a wire. So, you know, when I was a kid, um, I keep trying to think back of when I knew nothing of electronics, right? And just one of the things you need to learn is just what do these things look like? What are they and what do they look like? You might not know what they do. You might not know how to use them, but at least you'd be able to identify them. If somebody showed you a picture, you could say, oh yeah, that's a battery. And that's one of those, uh, what do they call those things? Integrated circuits? Um, together, we are a lot of fun. Okay. Safety in numbers. Uh, here's how to put the little wires together. You should keep a notebook. And uh, don't be afraid to experiment. That's what I always say. Don't follow the manual. Do other things. And here's somebody doing actual math. That's pretty cool. A suggestion. As you wire up your project, you might find it helpful to mark through what you're doing. Yeah, okay. Double check your work. Hi, I'm yours. Okay. So... The first they start out with uh, this type of thing. And that was sort of the kit that I had when I, was, when I was a kid. It didn't really give you any schematics. It just told you how to wire it up. And then you didn't learn anything. Um, so this one starts out with just wires. And then they start talking about uh, schematics. So they actually sort of teach you schematics. So that's a good part of this of this thing is uh you know learning learning what a schematic is it's like reading a map right you got to learn somewhere uh and then uh, you can go through and do all of these do all of these circuits roulette with sound wow that's a really fancy one that's a fancy circuit hmm. maybe i should lay out some pc boards for these things <laughs> uh yeah NOR gates, enable, yeah, anyway, uh, there you go, um, we'll probably do some of the projects out of this book, but I just thought it would be fun to take a look at one, like I said, I've never, I never had one as a kid, so it was just fun to, fun to look through here and see, uh, see what I was missing out on.